All right, guys, we're back with another Edison Format Finals at Epic Cars and Games in Hearst, Texas. We've got Rhinite on the left playing Machina Frogs versus Mario on the right playing Pure Black Wing. So look, with, he's playing like all the Yadas and Jars in his deck. So it looks like Mario went first. 7 4 has set a back row and pass. So these two are regulars on the channel. Um, Ryan's got four wins while Mario's got five. So pretty close there. They both got quite a few second places as well. So Ryan starts off with Gear Frame. So. Funny, uh, Ryan actually has never won with Machine of Frogs, but he's gotten second like at least five times. There might be one in there I missed, at least on the channel. The only time he did win with this deck at the lo local was when I wasn't there, so I didn't get a chance to film it. So we'll see if he can get that win here. And Mario actually won the previous tournament he entered with this Blackwing deck, so he would technically be going back to back. But he doesn't play on Wednesdays. That's why it's not back to back on the channel. But at least for himself, it'll be back to back. So anyways, here he... <clears throat> So Mario takes 100, and then the Goyo attacks over Gear Frame for 1,000. So we're at 7,079. Gear Frame in defense. Looks like Ryan's got Dupe, Brain, Regeki Break, Cyber Eltonin, Dupe Frog, Fortress Gores is his hand. So he can drop the Fortress if he wants to. One time Ryan let me test out this deck, and I think Cyber Eltonin is just okay. That's, that's one of the cards I didn't like when I tried his Machine of Frog deck. Maybe I'd play one. All right, so here Ryan probably sets the regek. Oh, he has Unifrog. I thought he had Dupe. Man, Ryan draws that Unifrog a lot. I saw him draw in his top four match often. Okay, so Goyo swings. So Ryan's in a regeki break. Ditch the Fortress. I guess this is where Cyber Elton is good because he can just pitch it to bring back Fortress. I guess that's the one good thing about it. And now here comes Shura. And pass. Does he have Icarus or something? All right, let's see what Ryan does. Remember, Cyber Elton. I mean, he could. What could he do? Brain the Shura tribute for. So he ditches Cyber Elton to bring back Machina Fortress. So yeah, Mario has to re Cyber. I, I forget it's full effect. It's like. When it's, I think you can only special summon it and it gains 300 attack for every machine you banish. But I believe you have to banish one light machine and it sends all other face up cards on the field to the graveyard, I think. But let me go double check because I don't remember this card. So he brains the. Um, he's probably going to use the equip effect. So here he gets deprisoned. Oh no, Ryan. You should have equipped first. That way he doesn't get it back. But maybe he's planning to tribute them for gores anyway. Oh, it's not bad. Plus you can crash. All right, this wasn't bad. Never mind. Maybe this play was correct. Either A, bait out a Kalute, or... So, Mario with another Blizzard. Which one? So he goes for Brio this time. Ditches the Vayu to bounce back the... <clears throat> So you oh, here comes Gores. Ooh, that's bad. Hold on, let me read this Cyber Elton because I don't remember its full effect. Okay. Yeah, cannot be normal summoner set. Must be special summoned from your hand. So you can't special summon from the grave by banishing all light machine monsters from your hand, field, and graveyard. So you need at least one light machine monster. This card becomes the number of monsters banished for a special summon by 500. If this card is special summoned... Send all their face up mod. Okay, so it's only face up. It's not like Ab Zero where it can do face downs. Okay. That's relevant. So let's see. That Gores might win Ryan the, this game. His hand is Fortress, Chaos Sphere. Yes, Fortress, Chaos Sphere, Unifrog, and Dupe. So he attacks over the Brio for 400 and then attacks him for 23. So Ryan, uh, not Ryan, Mario probably set a Jar or something, or a Torrential, a Bottomless, something that can't deal with this Gore's attack right now. Could be Icarus as well, we'll see. Now will he get rid of, so he chooses to just probably reset the dupe. Okay, now let's see what Mario, I mean Mario already used like all his blizzards. Sirocco, Bora, so you're probably going to have to pump. Pump over and hit over the Gore's. So he attacks over Gores for a thousand. So now it should be 
37.52. So let's see what Ryan can do. He drew Substitute. I, I guess that was an okay draw. Here, I think you have to run over the Sirocco. Is Chaos Fear not a machine? Again, we will. I do have. Uh, I'm gonna share a link in the description and probably pin it in the comments for Ryan's deck profile. If you guys are interested, he did a deck profile on uh, Marcus Hayden's channel because he he lost in the bubble at RBT Maryland. So I know a lot of you guys like to see the deck profile. So I'm gonna share that link there. Yes, it is a machine. So you could pitch it for Fortress. Okay. That's what I was wondering. So uh, Ryan chooses just to attack over the uh, yeah, chooses just to attack over the Sirocco. So probably Mario does not have yeah, he probably doesn't have the um, what's the card? Icarus. So ah, oh, this third Blizzard and Dark Arm. Oh wow, that's game. Which one did he top deck? The third Blizzard or the or the or the Dark Arc? So Mario, I feel Mario kind of stole that game. Would would Ryan have been in a better spot had he special summoned the Fortress? I don't know. I think he loses anyway. Yeah, he was gonna lose anyway because Mario is gonna go off with Dark Arc. So game two. Mario one win away from going back to back, or will Ryan and I pull off the backdoor 2-0? We'll see. Who am I rooting for? Uh, Ryan Knight, I want him to win with this deck. <laughs> okay, so here, I think he set Dust because it's a Whirlwind deck. Worst case scenario, you can snipe like a Jar. This deck plays a lot of trap cards, so it's not bad. So no, no Whirlwind from Mario. He had Torrential too, though. So here he Dust the Deep Prison. Bring back Treeborn, Caius. So Mario takes a thousand. Now the deck with all the jars, they do tend to play Gores, just because like they can do the jar into Gores play. So yeah, uh, you can't just like now. I feel Gores is more common in Black Wings. So here he takes their first. I already took forty four hundred damage. This is not looking good for Mario. He's he needs like another Shura really bad. So, normal Sirocco, Torrential, and Passes. All right. Does he have, like, a Chaos Sphere? Yeah, it's Tribute for Chaos Sphere. Search is a level 3. I believe it searches any level 3 monster. Yes. I thought it had to be Machine, but I think it's any level 3. Maybe it's Machine. Where's Chaos Sphere? Or, sorry, it's Sphere of Chaos. I thought it was Chaos Sphere. Yes, any level 3 monster from your deck. But specifically level 3. And I believe it's 1,600 attack, so passes to Mario. So 62, yeah, so he has to read that card too. I know that card. The Cyber Elton is the one that I'm not too familiar with. Like I said, I did play this deck. Ryan let me borrow it once. I think I played it on the channel one time. So yeah, once per turn, it cannot be destroyed by battle. And now Mario sets. So let's see, does he go for the Caius? Maybe go for the Caius, and if he has, uh, but you get, let's see, if, he, if you do go for Caius and he has Icarus, yeah, that's what I was thinking about. If he had Icarus, then you lose everything. But I think he's special summon Fortress, yeah, so Ryan I forces the game three. We'll see, can Ryan finally win with Machina Frogs? Like I said, he's gone second place five times, I remember. There might be one in there that I missed, because I remember there was a time when he went to the finals four in a row. This was last year. He made the finals with this deck four times in a row and, and got second place all four times. And then he lost recently to Bronder's Blackwing deck. That was like two weeks ago, I think. So I know he's got at least five second places with this deck. So here he summons Gear Frame. Let's see. Attacked into Bora. And... Ooh. So what did Mario set? Icarus. A Jar. Could be a Bottomless. Could be a lot of things. Okay. Because I don't think he bottomless a gear frame. Unless you really want that board to stick. 
Here comes Blizzard into Brionic. Wow. That's surprising. Maybe he's just trying to get a value out of his hand, but you don't want to put you don't want to put gear frame back to his hand. Pitch value, bounce the back row. Oh, dark arm. <laughs> so 33 damage to Ryan Eyed. Luckily, Ryan Eye does have Soul Exchange, Enemy Controller Swap, so he can clear his field depending on what Mario's back rows are. So does he have a Water Monster to pitch for Swap? So it's not... He drew Dust a little late, but... That's what... Like, I like Dust, but there, there was a reason I like the, the Spell card, No One of Extermination, because sometimes, like, you draw Dust a little late, like... Like, right now, Dust is horrible. <laughs> but the problem, the reason I'm not using Nobleman of Extermination anymore is because of all the jars running around. It kind of made that card bad. Yeah, it did. All right, so Ryan's got Uni, Dust, Soul Exchange, Enemy Controller, Machina Force, Swap Frog, I believe. No, no. I know he has those five for sure. I can't see the other two cards. So, Enemy Controller, Soul Exchange, Dust, Machina Force, Uni, and I can't see the other two cards. Okay, he does have Swap. Okay, so I, li I like this play. Special Summon Swap. Yes, I think he had to do this one. And then you can either A, in Econ, or you can Soul Exchange. You can wipe his field. You can Econ him. And then Soul Exchange and Tribute. For Is that Fortress is his last card? Let's say if you do that, you're left with... You're down one card. But Mario went first. So you'll be even in cards. Let's see if he decides to make this play. Yeah, if his last card is Fortress, that's the play. It's like Brain, Soul Exchange. No, Econ and then Soul Exchange. So he's Soul Exchange to Dark Armed. Chain Enemy Controller. And then Tribute. Tribute sets Fortress, sets Dust. And passes. So, yeah, he's got Fortress. So, this is playing around Bottomless by setting the Fortress. So, he's got... So, Ryan did the, the right move. I think that was the correct move. Because you have 47. He's got a Bayou in the Grave. I know Mario likes to hold those jars. So, we'll see if he holds it here. Ooh, Ryan I might have to dust. Oh, so he chooses not to dust. Come on, Heavy. Oh, no. What if you hit a jar? Okay, you, hit the, you sniped the Mirror Forest. That's good. I'd be afraid of hitting a jar. Only because I know Mario is on, like, six. <laughs> Are you afraid of the one Torrential? I mean, you have the the force, but you're, you're afraid of bottomless. Come on, heavy. <laughs> I'm almost certain he he has like at least one jar back there because he has he had three back rows. Oh, and he passes. Oh man, yep. There's the yada that we knew he had. So what was the other backer? Because Ryan could have sniped. Okay. Did he draw MST? Ooh, that's good. Wait, is that Nobleman and MST? Ooh, Ryan's on Nobleman and hit the rug. That's pretty good. I can't believe Ryan's still on Nobleman. I think I love the card, but I think it's bad now because everyone's on like, not everyone, but a lot of people are on the jars. So there's the second Yada. Sorry, Yada slash Jar. This is fine. I, I think I would have done the same thing. Just 
Hope it's. I mean, yeah, it was, it was highly likely that it was another Yada just because they play six, but. That's the this is the annoying part of Yada. It's like sometimes you have to just take the risk. You can't afford them not having. Like, what if he had the bottom list there? Anyway, Ryan's behind. Oh, he has Cyber Dragon. Oh, that's not good. Cyber Dragon. Dinah. Oof. Yeah. What are what are Ryan's outs? Yep. Two back rows. Yeah, this is not looking good. Oh, he just drew Cyber Drag. So that is game. Yeah, just I think Ryan's hand was kind of bad that game, but he he played well that last game. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the final. So Ryan sec sixth time getting second place with this deck. And Mario gets a sixth win, goes back to back for himself. Wins. Did he go in the? No, he went X one both times. He won. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that finals and next up is a hat tournament that we had this same day so we'll see how it goes experimenting with a different format at my locals uh yeah we'll all upload like the whole tournament it was six it was six rounds four rounds of swiss cut the top four and yeah we'll be back soon for that one bye guys